Welcome back to Virtual Reality on the Game & Muscle YouTube channel. Last night, Valve launched Steam VR Home, which is uh, essentially their replacement for the 3D environment that you find yourself in when you first load Steam VR and plop your VR headset onto your face. Unlike the old version of uh, Steam VR, where it's essentially just a static 3D model that you found yourself within, Home is now essentially a fully fledged virtual world that you're loading into, with the ability to customize it by placing objects, talk to people and invite friends into your customized home, and the ability to also then jump into other people's homes and see what they've made a mess of in their environments. The end result is something that's a really strange blend between interface, launcher, social application, and game in and of itself. Basically, you, don't, you just don't know where anything starts and ends anymore. Virtual reality has just gone bananas. Now, for those of you that aren't particularly interested in social features, customizing your rooms, and all the other gubbins, You'll be glad to know that you can still just press the menu button where you get that sort of holographic big picture view for you to pick your games and launch into them. And when you do launch your game from that view, it closes the uh, Steam VR Home 3D world down and uh, launches the very bland, empty compositor space that you might be familiar with from before. A question that does arise is uh, what is the actual point of all this complexity why not just have the 2d uh, holographic big picture view floating in front of you and just select your stuff from there and um i think the answer to that is that valve want to have a vr equivalent of the 2d steam in virtual reality so what i mean by that is things like the trading cards the marketplace and the customizations that you have on the 2d side of steam stuff that i personally don't use i don't really have any interest in it but you know it seems to be quite popular and there's definitely a huge amount of money that valve are making from that this is now available in vr so instead of 2d trading cards there's actual 3d objects at the moment you can only get these objects uh, by doing quests inside of home itself but i'm sure games will start to implement some of these objects in the games themselves uh, that you'll then be able to place in your VR home environment. You'll then be able to buy objects on the Steam Marketplace to place in your home environment. And you'll also be able to uh, sell objects, presumably, on the Steam uh, Marketplace, all within the comfort of VR. But where this gets uh, more interesting and somewhat Inception-like is that Steam VR Home, as I say, is essentially a game environment itself. So there's no reason, for example, you could be playing CSGO, do particularly well at something, and you then unlock a gun for your Steam home environment, and the gun could be fully functional, so that when friends join into your home environment, you can shoot them in the face, which is uh, how most Americans actually greet each other. Um, you, you might not have known that. But you could also have a driving simulator for example where you do particularly well and you unlock a remote control car from from the game that you can then drive around in your home environment with your friends the cool thing with that being that you could actually build your own little uh, remote control car track because you could just place and lock objects into your environment there's really no limit you could just see how crazy this could get and um Again, you just don't know where the game starts and ends, and it's, it's uh, the potential for creativity and what can come from this is actually quite staggering. So in conclusion, though on the face of it, Steam VR Home appears to just be an update to their launcher, what it really is, is an extension to Valve's core philosophy, which is enabling user-generated content uh, to be purchased, shared, and used by Steam users. Um, as I say, the potentials are almost endless, and uh, if you can get your head around it, congratulations. I'm, I'm still trying to work it out. Now, following on from this video, I'll do a playthrough looking at the individual features and talking about it whilst we actually play it. This was just a sort of introduction to Steam VR Home and trying to explain what it actually is. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you click the subscribe button. It makes you more handsome and attractive to the opposite sex if you do so. I will see you in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching and goodbye everybody.